now your media pizza so what are you gonna sell it from your house no right you're gonna have a nice restaurant in a nice location so you've got to pay rent 10,000 rupees per month you're gonna pay rent you'll, you'll have to pay salaries you're gonna have really nice uh, hosts and hostesses and uh, delivery men and chefs making your pizzas and serving them delivering them salaries and let's say you have five people you're paying each of them 7,000 rupees so 35,000 rupees in salaries and then we just we'll, we have, we'll have this catch-all bucket called administrative which will have your phone bills your electricity bills um, your your petrol charges and, and all of that and let's say 25,000 rupees is your administrative again you get the idea that this is not an exhaustive list you could you'll have many more competence there but for now we will you know just to get the rough idea we'll stop here now all these expenses basically the expenses that are not involved in making the pizza but that, or, that are involved in actually selling the pizza you know oh the mark we forgot the marketing cost very important for a pizza company right these guys keep calling me up all the time and sending me flyers let's say you spend twenty five thousand rupees marketing all these expenses uh, that go into marketing the pizza delivering the pizza making sure the interiors the restaurant are good those are called operating expenses or otherwise they are called um, overheads. You probably heard this term often. They are otherwise called overheads. Otherwise, they're also called fixed costs. And the reason they're called fixed costs is because it doesn't matter if you sell thousand pizzas or ten pizzas. You're still going to have these fixed costs. You're still going to pay ten thousand rupees in rent if you sell five hundred pizzas or thousand pizzas. This is a fixed number. You're still going to pay thirty-five thousand rupees in salaries to your uh, five employees, irrespective of how many pizza you sell which is why these are called fixed costs. Now let's look at what is your total fixed cost this month. It's 95,000 rupees and that is called just this is your operating expenses, all right? So now you had three and a half lakhs as revenue from make, from selling the pizza. Out of that, you 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 spend one lakh forty thousand rupees on the ingredients. You 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 spend another ninety five thousand rupees on marketing the pizza and the interiors and all of that. How much money do you have left? That is nothing but the gross margin, which is the money you had left over after you spent on the ingredients, minus the operating expenses. You have one lakh fifteen thousand rupees left. And that one lakh fifteen thousand rupees left is otherwise called the operating income. It's called the operating income because that is the income you derive from the operations of the company, from the from running the company on a day to day basis. You you have one lakh fifteen thousand. Now you're probably asking me, is that my final profit? Can I take that one lakh fifteen thousand home? Not really, right? You can't go home with that one lakh fifteen thousand rupees. There's a couple of other things you have to do and spend money on before you actually take that entire money home. The first of that is taxes. We have an entire session uh, later in this program on taxes. So right now we're going to just treat it peripherally. We're going to say you're going to pay 20% of your profits in taxes. So that is about 23,000 rupees in taxes you're going to pay right there. And then interest. Let's say you borrowed um, 5 lakhs to set up this pizza store. You're paying 10% interest. And roughly that's about 5,000 rupees a month. So 5,000 rupees is your interest. Now, finally, your operating income, from that you take away your taxes and you take away your interest. That, now that is the money that you can take home. That is the money that is otherwise called the net income of a company. A company's profitable loss and that, that's all right there. Let's just go back here and, and just you know write down a couple of more formulas. Uh, we, we got the gross margin right there. Operating income operating income is nothing but the gross margin which is the money left after you spend on the ingredients minus the operating expenses that's your operating income net income is essentially operating income minus taxes minus interest 
Now, I must warn you, you know, you can't, you know, take this, these formulas to court. I mean, they work for our reasons right here. They, they are right. But then as we go along this course and we, when, when we um, explore bigger and more complicated companies, you'll notice that there are more items that come into here. And so these formulas will slightly change. But then for a basic understanding, this is, this is good enough. Now, there are some other names for these uh, uh, things like net income is also called PAT or otherwise it's called profit after tax. Uh, now if you didn't have an interest this operating income could otherwise be called PBT or profit before tax. Essentially your profit before you paid um, your tax uh, your tax rupees. All right.